so I started um, with just I found some snowboard boots on on uh, Google Shopping, and I was like, that price just seems ridiculously, unbelievably low. It was like six dollars a pair for uh, for snowboard boots. I bought all the pairs. I bought all the pairs that they had, and a week and a half later, they showed up at my door and. I had to explain to Maria why we had 20 boxes of snowboard boots now and nowhere to put them. So we started from scratch raising support and networking and kind of building, um, building a uh, stream of income for ourselves and then um, we got that off the ground and stabilized that and in the middle of that kind of just that same mindset of starting new things um, fed into me just really experimenting with selling stuff online and so it wasn't really something I set out to create a business with it was more just dabble in and see if we could make a little bit of extra money and and, um, and so I, I was just like hey, give me a month to try and um, do this, buy things and sell it on eBay. And if we're not in the black at the end of a month, then I'll, I won't do it anymore. And so I bought myself one month to, um, to just um, test it out. And uh, at the end of the month, I think we made like $200. So it was some uh, initial validation. It's evolved into something much more than I ever intended it to be. So. That initial yeah. first um, month experiment led to uh, a part-time job for my wife eventually, um, and she got to leave what she was doing to, to work from home part-time, and then eventually um, we realized, hey, this could be a full-time job, and she was able to make it that. And all of that was just us selling. Um, we kind of found a niche and used clothing, uh, vintage apparel, um, and Baltimore, where we're at, has some awesome thrift stores, and it, it just kind of became a system, and we realized eBay was great because yeah. unlike trying to open up a store in Baltimore and sell locally, um, we could reach customers all over the world, so we were shipping, you know, vintage Harley Davidson shirts to Russia and um, from the comfort of our living room, and that was kind of the first moment I realized just the potential, not just through entrepreneurship, but um, online entrepreneurship, and um, really to do something that otherwise wouldn't be feasible. Startup cost was ridiculously low. Um, we could we could manage our own hours, um, work whenever we wanted to, and and take off when we wanted to, and um, so yeah, that was the beginning of Birdland Vintage. And we've been selling on eBay now, um, going on eight years. Yeah, it's cool. We're gonna go to my friend, uh, her name is Marie Selenrick, and she has this awesome business, it's her passion. She um, actually sews harnesses for, um, for, for people that, that hike with their dogs, so these uh, dog harnesses for like hikers. And uh, yeah, it's pretty <laughs> unique business, definitely a niche. My husband Jeff and I are really into hiking. And when we got Cooper, yeah. who was our first child. Um, <laughs> Your first dog, your child. <laughs> our first child for a child. <laughs> we got Cooper the most like highly reviewed um, dog pack. And it was like a big deal, it was really expensive. Um, Jeff was really excited, and the day he put it on Cooper, I was like, it's too big for him. I thought, well, I'll just make him one, make him a bag to wear. Yeah. And actually, um, we were getting ready to drive cross country, and we were planning on hiking in Colorado, um, in the Rockies. So I made him this like super lightweight pack. We tried it out, 
it was like the very first prototype and it needed a lot of work. Yeah. So it was just like these pouches with little flaps and there wasn't even like a zipper or anything. It was just like it buckled once or something. And then I started finding other long distance hikers and sending them prototypes. And that's how I did all the testing. So you just started prototyping these bags. Yeah. It just you're like, hey, send me the measurements for your dog. Did yeah. you do that? Or you yeah. Do, yeah. I think they did measure for me. Um, and to this day, I take measurements for the harness. Yeah. At what point did you think, like, this could be a business? Like, did you, were you oh, thinking from that the beginning. from the beginning? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And the reason for that is because we actually buy a lot of our gear from Made in America, small companies. Um, yeah. It's called cottage companies, and that's just because they start at home as a home business, but then all the brands that we know about for outdoor gear, they're now all um, just, you know, making tons of gear. So they have employees, like they have their own shops. I don't know of anyone right now who's still working from home the way that I am. Yeah. Um, because they're all like, they'll work from home maybe the first year and then they transition is the yeah. trend, which I hope to do as well. 